Good morning. I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here is the rundown. A family dispute quickly escalated in Sherman Oaks. Police say a young man stabbed his father's multiple times early this morning. Both men had to be rushed to the hospital. They underwent surgery. Officers are saying the son admitted to attacking his parents and has been arrested. The suspect in the deadly Trader Joe's hostage standoff is expected in court this morning. Gene Atkins was booked on suspicion of murder last night. Dozens honored Melly Corrado, who was killed during the gun battle between Atkins and police. Her family has hired an attorney. A search is underway for you know, a former MTV BJ who was last seen about a week ago. Jesse Camp's family filed a missing persons report last Thursday. That's the same day Fontana police saw him behind a shopping center in an area frequented by homeless people. P uh, people uh, or police rather think he might be living out of his car or staying in motels in the Inland Empire. Anyone with information is asked to contact the police. Are you ready to cash in big time? Tonight's Mega Millions is the fifth largest jackpot in the game's history. As of this morning, $512 million are up for grabs. That amount could climb throughout the day. The Mega Millions drawing is tonight. Now, here's Amber Lee with a look at your forecast. All right, get ready. We're looking at some very hot temperatures as we head into the afternoon. We're already starting off the morning with rather warm conditions. 81 degrees at this hour for Lancaster, 77 for San Bernardino, 74 for Fullerton, and 71 near the airport at LAX. We do have those excessive heat warnings and heat advisors in place that will last with us till Thursday night. And what that means is we're expecting very hot temperatures, especially inland and also right near the coast where usually we have very mild conditions. And then even if you plan on heading to the beach today, we do have bigger than normal waves and dangerous rip currents. So that high surf advisory is also staying with us until about Wednesday night. And then we should start to see the waves decrease as we head into the rest of the week. We could break records today in areas like Burbank and Woodland Hills. Some other cities like Big Bear and Idlewild could tie old records. Same with Camarillo. High pressure. This is the one that's bringing in all of the hot and dry conditions. It is a very strong system right now out to the east. So that's what's funneling in the hot and dry air. And then as we head into the rest of the week, we slowly start to cool down as we head into Friday. Then once we head into Saturday and Sunday, we're going to look at hot and muggy conditions returning. So that monsoon moisture also starts to return back as high pressure wobbles closer to the Southland. And that could trigger isolated thunderstorms and showers over the mountains by the end of the weekend. All right. Thanks, Amber. We are always on at CBSLA.com. And remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great morning, everyone.